Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. All right, so for today's reading, it's gonna be a little bit different. This is your July predictions or the remaining three weeks in the month of July, but this is only for the earth signs or earth energy, meaning those of you who may have a lot of earth in your chart. All right, so I'm trying something a little bit different. So definitely let me know how you all like these readings um, in the comment section. But yeah, let's jump straight into uh, earth signs. What can you expect for the rest of this month? Uh, we have a good three weeks left uh, for the month of July 2019. Okay. So first we have overall, you got the Knight of Swords, you got the World, you got the Page of Wands in reverse, you got the Emperor, and you have the Moon. All right, so first off with this Knight of Swords, what I'm picking up with this, you all, um, I feel like there's like something that you're coming towards that has to do with either education or communication with someone. Perhaps maybe you want to communicate with someone or you've been in the process of communicating, coming towards someone just in general. For some of you with this world card, I'm feeling travel. Either you are traveling in the month of July or you want to travel in the month of July or you have the opportunity to travel in the month of July. Um, definitely i'm feeling i'm definitely no i'm feeling i'm feeling travel with this i feel like i feel like yeah you all are traveling this month or maybe perhaps you know this has to do with distance between you and someone um that you are romantically connected to or i mean feeling distance from you and a loved one family member or friend with this page of wands so with this page of wands what i'm picking up is there's so I feel like there's a, a air of contentment that you all are currently in. It's like you're focused on something currently, like with this emperor right here. It's like you're disciplining yourself in something that you're really focused on. And I feel like this is that thing that you're going towards. Maybe this has to do with work um, or maybe this even has to do with a relationship. But there's something that you're very focused on during this month that... You're just, this page of wands, like, stuff just isn't um, distracting you from that. And for some of you, you're traveling, you know, for work during this month, you know. But definitely, I'm feeling that you're very focused on work. That's what I'm picking up with this Emperor card, for whatever reason, with this page in reverse, that you're just kind of, like, really focused. Like, you're not distracted outwardly. And with this moon card, like, because even now, like, I feel like, with this one, I'm okay. So with this moon card, I'm picking up that you all are just getting more in tune with self. Like I'm picking up that you are now beginning to, you know, kind of like tackle the things that you've been unhappy with. Um, and it's like things that you haven't really discussed with other people. Not that they're secrets, just things that you have not disclosed to others. And it's like now you're just taking this month, taking this time out to just really bring those things out, face those things, but you're facing them with yourself. It's like you're being honest with yourself. I'm hearing self-communications and stuff like that. All right, so let's take a peek into your love life for the next three months with some Oracle cards concerning your love life. So we have, it is safe for you to love. We have a thinker. And we have a leg up. Okay, so definitely. I feel like for those of you um, who are looking at this reading right now, um, either you are coming out of a, you know, kind of a, you know, sad romantic situation or some of you, I'm also getting, I'm strongly picking up on energy that a lot of you have not been in a relationship or the past relationship in itself is physically gone but you've held on to the energy of it all but i'm also hearing that you're ready to move on maybe that's where this knight of swords is coming like you're ready to move forward like you're you're rushing in but you're being strategic with this knight of swords like this knight of swords energy is happening but you're being strategic in what it is that you're doing for some of you i feel like this world card relates to what it is it's safe for you to love that the person that perhaps you're seeking 
is long distance. I'm definitely picking up on long distance vibe. I feel like this is someone that you were in a pinnacles energy about. Like you've been thinking, you know, oh my goodness, thank you universe. And I think this is where this page of wands, like you're no longer just sitting there and just watching this person. And I feel like, yeah, right here, this is that night. Now you're making this move or this person is making this move towards you. But this is someone that has been on your mind for a long time. Or for some of you, if there's not a specific person that you've had on your mind, um, you've been thinking about putting yourself out there, moving on for a long time. And definitely, I feel like the universe is telling you with this a leg up, you know, you have a leg up in this situation uh, for this month. You have a leg up and, you know, it's like it's going to work out. You know, I'm here and just get out there. Thank you, universe. Just get out there and what you want to happen, you know, you dating is going to happen for you but i'm definitely hearing with this it is safe for you to love that it is important for you to be brave you have to be brave in going out there um just you know present you in the best form and the best version of you that you have to present and everything that you want concerning love is going to come to you but definitely the universe is telling you that it is safe for you to go out there and inquire about relationships or just dating and having fun all right so Let's see what's going on in terms of your career and finances for the rest of this month. All my earth signs. So we have the five of wands. We have the knight of pentacles and we have the judgment card. All right. So definitely I feel like, okay, clear, clearly like what's coming through straight away. Um, for some of you, I feel like you have um, some doubts um, in considering a new business venture or a new career that you're currently in or you just started or or maybe a new position and it's like you're for some of you this is a mental struggle it's like you're trying to be harmonious about this thing you're trying to believe in it you're trying to stay you know grounded in it um with this knight of pentacles you know you, you're trying to to approach you know stability um, with the situation, but it's like you have your doubts because what I'm picking up is that, you know, there's been a bit of shakiness maybe in the financial and career department in these past few months, but now things are starting to look up. See, there's there there's that a leg up, you know, even though this was uh, for relationship, you know, it's like things are now looking up and it's like, you know, you were fighting off, you know, for some of you, you were actually fighting off poverty, you know, you were fighting off things, you know, or fighting off for some of you, I'm picking up that you were fighting off, you know, just insecurities about you know will I get back to where I want to be financially or will I get to where I want to be financially because definitely for some of you I'm picking up that it's not that you have financial issues it's more so that you are seeking to grow you want to grow and it's like okay well how do I grow how do I get to where I want to go you know and so um even with this judgment card this is you like evaluating that like you know how do I get to where I want to go though you have your doubts it's still you know for you all to have you know for you to be earth energies you know and earth signs you know you, you're you're being logical about the situation even with this knight of pentacles it's like you know you're taking leaps of faith but you're doing it in the most logical sense possible it's like you're thinking about all aspects okay what can go wrong what can go right what will go wrong what will go right you know it's like you're you're putting into account any and everything that could possibly happen from the good to the bad and then you're weighing the best possible op um, option definitely with this judgment card you know it's like you're, you're, you're judging a situation you're trying to figure out is this for me will it be for me and i'm definitely hearing from the universe that you know with the approach that you're taking towards your career and towards your finances because for some of you i'm getting a, a, a huge sense that you that you've been saving that you're really saving up, that maybe it's something that you're saving for. Maybe that's where this world card comes in with your overall. Um, this is maybe that vacation you've been saving up for. Or maybe some of you want to go on this vacation. It's like, you know, you're dealing with the money struggles. But definitely with this Knight of Pentacles, um, what the universe is showing me is that you're approaching, you know, um, financial stability and ca career stability. So if that's something that you've been worried about, definitely in these next three weeks, in the remainder of this month, you're going to see these things unfold in the best way possible. Because what I'm seeing is, yeah, for some of you, I'm seeing a business plan. You've been, you're contemplating a business plan because it's like you're coming out of this struggle energy and, you know, you're now thinking and deciding and, you know, you're figuring out how you're going to make, you know, your best, you know, possible in terms of financial and career. Like just the universe is bringing in abundance to you. All right. So I pulled two Oracle cards for you all or two Oracle cards came to me. And these Oracle cards are, you know, 
Uh, so how can you get the best out of the next three months? I mean, the next three weeks in this month, you know, what can you do to get the best out of what's coming to you, you know, and amplify or open up what's coming to you overall in the month of July? And we have Easy Does It. And we have Awaken Your Empathy. So yeah, definitely with this Awaken Your Empathy, what I'm getting like right away is that, you know, this is for you because like just from what I'm seeing with your, you know, career and financial situation, how, you know, how some of you have just, you know, been fighting off stuff or just being a little bit, you know, just hard on yourself. There's been some struggles, you know, like understand that, you know, a lot of you, you're doing the best that you can. You're doing all that you can, you know, you know, you're strategizing with this judgment, you know, and this Knight of Pentacles and you're going towards what it is that you want. You're doing what you can. And it's like, don't beat up yourself, you know, keep going in the positive direction, keep doing the positive steps, keep, you know, making those smart moves. And it's like, what I'm hearing is, um, I'm definitely picking up a sense that you're ready for things to happen now and today, especially when it comes to your career. That's what I'm picking up. And I feel like the universe is telling you, you know, you know, be awaken your empathy, be empathetic towards yourself, you know, um, be kind towards yourself. Don't beat up on yourself, you know, and it's like when you make mistakes, what I'm hearing, thank you, universe. Um, whenever you make a mistake, you know, don't beat yourself up. Just do better, you know, the next time, the next day, you know, um, just do better, you know, do something different. But definitely I'm hearing that the universe is saying, you know, easy does it like easy does it on how you talk to yourself. Easy does it on what you're feeling right now. Just easy does it because what you want is definitely coming in with the quickness. And it's like, you know, it's coming in in the best way possible from even from love to, you know, whatever it is that you're seeking in this month. It's all coming in. You just have to be patient with yourself and patient with the process. All right. Thank you, everyone who tuned into this video. Like I said in the beginning, please let me know if you like the monthlies done this way. Um, so, yeah, this is, you know, experimental, but, we'll see, but we shall see. Um, and I will still be doing the regular monthly pick a card, you know, for full of everyone, whoever tunes in. Um, so definitely stay tuned for that video. And if you like a personal reading for any of the things that was in this reading that perhaps resonated for you, please hit me up in my about section. Check me out. You can email me or you can book a reading through Etsy. Uh, and yeah, just let me know. And also, please note that, you know, because I'm picking up on a lot of different energies and this is a general reading. If nothing in this reading resonated for you, that is perfectly fine. All right. Thank you all for tuning in and I hope you have a wonderful rest of day. Peace and blessings. Goodbye.